Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to the Google Classroom of Sri Gokulam Public School. How are you all doing? So we have been studying about nouns. Now quickly tell me what is nouns? Yes, nouns are naming words. So now I'm going to ask you a question. Let us imagine a place. How about a park? Okay, what are the things that you see in a park? There are many things that we can see in a park. So quickly name me some things that you can see in the park. Yes, you can see swings, slides, seesaws, so many things to play. What else can you see in the park? There are trees, flowers, grass. What else? Ice cream stalls are there, snacks counter is there. So there are many things that you can find in a park. Can you think about any event that can be conducted in a park? Yes, we can have picnics in the park. We often go with our family or friends to enjoy a good picnic in the park. Any other activity that we can conduct in a park? Yes, we can also conduct parties in park. A small birthday party maybe? Yes, it is possible. Next, let us move into a church. Now, what are the things that you can see and observe inside a church? Yes, you can see the candles burning. You can see the figure of Jesus Christ. You can see the benches and an altar to pray. You can also see holy water kept. Now, think about the events that can be conducted in a church. There are many events. Yes, from the wedding to the holy mass and baptism. What do you mean by baptism? Baptism means the naming ceremony of small babies. So that is also conducted in a church. Now children, let me ask you a very Scientific question. It's very easy. What are your senses? Can you name them? I'm sure that was a very easy question. So quickly tell me. Yes, your five senses are seeing, smelling, hearing, tasting and touching. So these are your five senses. Now let us quickly move back to the park that we went. The things that you saw over there. Can you touch, hear, smell and feel those things? Is it possible? Of course it is possible. We can touch a swing and a slide. We can smell the flowers. We can taste the ice creams. How about in the church? Were there also things in the church that could be seen, touched, felt? Of course, that was also possible. We could see the candle burning. The smell of the candle burning, we could smell it. The holy water, we could taste it. We were able to see the Jesus Christ and sit on the benches. Feel it? Yes, that was also possible. But how about the events that were conducted in these two places? Was it possible to touch, see, feel, smell a picnic? No, it is not possible. Party? Can we use our senses over there? Mm, again, not possible. And weddings? Of course, we can taste the food, but wedding as such? No, not possible. Baptism? Of course, we can hear the baby crying, but... Baptism? 
as a whole idea is it possible to touch smell hear it is not possible so there are some things which can be sensed with our five senses and there are some things which cannot be sensed with our five senses so the things that can be sensed with our five senses are called as concrete nouns concrete means something which is solid so concrete nouns are nouns which you can taste touch see hear and smell example cup cake ball chair and keys and the nouns which cannot be sensed with our five senses are called as abstract nouns abstract nouns are also the feelings or the emotions that you have like anger love happiness sorrow all these kinds of emotions and feelings are also called as abstract nouns so abstract nouns are events and emotions what else let me ask you one question what did india get on august 15 1947 yes india got freedom freedom is an idea which we cannot touch feel or here one more question can you give me a quality that a student must have mm, responsibility correct discipline of course so there are different qualities that we need to develop is it possible for us to touch honesty in a person's life or taste responsibility in a person it is not possible so we can say that these qualities are also belonging to abstract nouns so what are abstract nouns abstract nouns are feelings or ideas these are things you can't see smell taste touch or hear many examples are given bravery happiness sorrow love fear and so on so children have you understood concrete nouns and abstract nouns it's very simple concrete nouns can be sensed with our five senses abstract nouns are feelings ideas emotions events my dear children in the last class we had studied about proper noun and common noun these common nouns can also be classified as countable and uncountable nouns now what do you mean by countable and uncountable nouns it is very simple the noun that can be counted is called as countable noun and that which cannot be counted is uncountable noun abstract nouns belong to the category of uncountable nouns why because they are thoughts feelings emotions and hence most of the abstract nouns cannot be counted but concrete nouns can be countable and uncountable for example students men cows cities can be counted whereas sugar is something which you can taste see and feel but it is uncountable the same thing happens with water and juice also so have you understood what is countable and uncountable we will study this in detail in the next chapter so this is just a basic idea on what is countable and uncountable noun now let us go into the exercises now here some words are given and you are asked to identify whether it is an abstract or a concrete noun let us quickly get into the exercise book you can touch feel and see a book so it is concrete girl again it is a concrete noun 
Love is a feeling or an emotion, so it is an abstract noun. Peace is also a feeling or a thought or idea, so it is abstract noun. Mouse, a very very irritable animal, it is a concrete noun. Anger is a feeling, it is abstract. Intelligence, again it is an idea, so it is abstract. Now let us go into the next exercise. What you what are you asked to do in this exercise? You are asked to pick out the odd one and identify it as abstract or concrete and countable or uncountable. Now the words given here are idea, tree, situation, plan and principle. Idea is a thought, situation is a again it is a thought. Plan and principles are also coming as abstract nouns. The only thing which is concrete over here is tree. So tree is the odd one out. You can identify it as concrete. Trees can be counted. So it is countable now. The next one is car, honesty, wisdom, truth and justice. I think it is very, very clear that honesty, wisdom, truth and justice are all thoughts and ideas. So it is abstract noun and car is concrete noun and also car can be counted so it is countable one more we will do milk water confidence coffee and wood what is the odd one out over here of course it is confidence because milk water coffee and wood are all concrete nouns but coffee is abstract and abstract nouns are uncountable now we will do the next exercise using the suffix given in the box form abstract nouns. Now these are some common nouns given here while by using the suffix they form into abstract nouns. Like for example childhood is an abstract noun, friendship, womanhood, captainship, kindness, leadership and health. There are more also. You can learn these abstract nouns. I hope children, concrete noun and abstract nouns are very clear to you. Keep practicing your grammar exercises. And let's conclude today's class. Have a wonderful day and be good children. Thank you.